Hello AP Physics. This lesson over mathematics of addition subtraction with significant figures is brought to you by Diet Dr. Pepper. Mmm. Tastes like crap. Okay. Anyways. So in this lesson we're going to learn how do you sig figs with addition and subtraction. So what I have here is I have two examples and I have a little dot I need to erase. There we go. The, people usually have the toughest time rounding with addition, subtraction, and sig figs because it's a little bit more complex of the rule. But what you need to do is, first off, just add the numbers up like you normally would. So over here I have 246.24 plus 238.278 plus 98.3. A very important technique you should try to do is line up the decimals like I've lined them up here. It makes things a lot easier when you're trying to figure out where to round. But anyways, just add these numbers up. So if you add them up, okay, I got my number, you should get 582.818. All right, now the question is, where do I round? Here is the rule. When you add and subtract, only when you add and subtract, you want to round to the farthest left uncertain digit. So it's vital you know where the uncertain digit is. So in this first number, 246.24, which is the uncertain digit? Well, the first sig fig going to the left is the 4. And that is in the hundredths place. And 238.278, the first sig fig going to the left is the 8. And that is in the thousandths place. Tens, hundreds, thousandths place. Okay, 98.3. First sig fig to the left is the 3. And that's in the tenths place. So then what you do is you ask yourself, which of these uncertain digits is farthest to the left? And in this case, the farthest one to the left is the 3. Now, the 3 is in the tenths place. So I want to round my answer to the nearest tenth. So what I like to do sometimes is I go down to my number and I underline, okay, here's where I round my answer. I'm going to round it right here. Next, look at the number next to the 8. Okay, It's a 1. So here's the rule. If it's 0 through 4, you keep the number the same. If it's 5 or higher, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, you round up. So since it's a 1, I'm going to keep this at 8, and I'm going to round my answer to 500 and 82.8 and there's my final answer so again when you add and subtract you want the farthest left uncertain digits so you find your uncertain digits then you figure out which one's farthest left and at that place is where you round your answer since the three is the farthest left uncertain digit in the tenth place around my answer to yours tenth some people do this which it helps if you line up your decimal, which I did not. So they go, oh, right here. Okay, I round my answer right there. Some people do that too. So I think Tyler in the video does that. Boom, 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 boom. For the next one, I have 1,050 minus 264. So for this one, again, just... Subtract it like you would any other number. I'm using my calculator here. Minus 264 gives me an answer of 786. Okay, next, find your farthest left uncertain digit. In 1050, my farthest left uncertain digit is the 5. Okay, the zero, this 0 is not a sig fig, so the 5. That's in the tens place. In 264, it's the 4, which is in the ones place. So you ask yourself which is farthest to the left. Clearly, the 5 is, which is in the tens place. So I want to round my answer to the nearest tens place. So here's where I'm going to round my answer. Look at the number next to it. It's a 6. So this time I'm going to round this up to a 9. Now be careful. Your answer is not 79. It's 790. Okay, so make sure you do that correctly. So, again, the big thing with adding and subtracting, it's not how many sig figs there are. 
It's not how many sig figs there are. It's which is the farthest left on certain digit. That is the place where you round your answer. So hopefully this video helped. I think there's another video of Tyler going over this stuff, and hopefully that's also helpful.